Hi, my name is Jamie. I'm with the Stop LAPD Spine Coalition. Today is International Workers' Day, also known as May Day. And we're here in Los Angeles uh, by MacArthur Park. And we're joining Union de Barrio, who's about to engage on an unpermitted march through Los Angeles, ending in City Hall. The Stop LAPD Spine Coalition was invited by Union de Barrio to come and film the police and the type of surveillance, spying, and infiltration they do to social justice marches. Come along with us for the ride and get exposed to the surveillance state that we live in. So May Day goes back in history all the way to 1886 during Chicago and the Haymarket strikes where hundreds of thousands of workers gathered and rallied and protested to fight for the eight-hour workday. They were met with intense police violence and brutality to try to shut down their attempt to win this eight-hour workday. Some were hung, some after capture were told that they committed suicide while they were incarcerated. So this is the history that we're dealing with today in Los Angeles. It's 2015 and we're experiencing the same type of police brutality nationwide. Um, everything's been calm and cool so far. They've been letting us hold this space. Um, but we'll be out here documenting the entire march and, and seeing what uh, what advances they take. Is LAPD using any um, human or electronic surveillance? You know what? The only thing we're going to do is control traffic. So when the sound truck is moving, we're going to block the lanes to make sure there's no issues with the vehicle and the sound truck. During this march, LAPD is not going to have any equipment for surveillance. No, the only thing we have up right now is our helicopter, but they're monitoring different marches throughout the city, and that's just to monitor the traffic movement, and uh, really nothing else. Right. That we're, there's, no, there's no other need to monitor other than supporting the traffic movement. Right? Well, thank you. Okay. Well, one of the reasons the coalition is here is because we know that LAPD has programs of surveillance and spying and infiltration in the community. This is nothing new, but the use of more technology to accomplish this surveillance is what is new, and massive amounts of information sharing that they can do. So what we're going to be doing is that there's a lot of our members who have been trained in uh, Know Your Rights. We want to be in team, particularly right. two. Right. Now we ask one person to be like the camera person, the video person, and the other person to do handwritten documentation. Just being in teams and being safe, being each other's scout and look out for brothers and sisters and keepers. A lot of us who have been doing Watch the Watchers are very familiar with the different types of equipment we see. One of them is called Freedom, Freedom on the Move, and this one is in the flatbed truck. It has a long pole and attached to it, it has a camera with high def capacities to basically take photographs of people in the crowd. It also has infrared, which allows it to target in on the particular person it's trying to take a photograph of. So you'll also see um, vans with with satellites on top of them, and these vans basically swoop up communication. They can also maintain communication between any kind of emergency personnel or law enforcement, but they also can disrupt communication. A lot of protesters um, have often stated that they'll be around these vehicles and they notice their phones will be drained, they'll notice that they can't communicate with their friends anymore. And the last piece of equipment that we've seen often is LRADs, and those are um, long-range acoustic devices, which are basically sound machines meant to scare people. So these are some of the ways that they um, infiltrate and watch us. Yeah, we know that the architecture of surveillance is much larger, consisting of human and electronic surveillance equipment such as high-definition cameras, automatic license plate readers, video recording equipment, including body cameras, building and street surveillance equipment, also known as trap wire, tracking of personal cell phones with Stingray technology, and much, much more. We also keep an eye out for infiltrators and informants because they play the role of infiltrating our political spaces and at times inciting and instigating violence. We interviewed two people, right, and General Dogon and some other people from the coalition had identified them as being undercover police officers. So we went up and we asked them, and they're completely denying it. These guys are undercover too, talk to him. What are you doing here today? They just wanted to see what the march was about. Oh, okay. have you attended the march before? Never. 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 First time. First time? Yeah. Are you an undercover? What, what? I'm with Stop LAPD Spine Coalition. I'm sorry? Stop LAPD Spine Coalition. Oh, really? What's that about? Do you think that when LAPD requires
towards protesters, do you think it's a violation of our right to protest? Do you think it, it could have the impact of making people feel unsafe? People are entitled to feel any way they want to feel. It's not a, it's not a violation. Do you think it could make people feel intimidated because maybe they think that you're collecting information? I can't assume what's in other people's minds or what might or might not make them feel concerned. Say you are in the crowd and you're protesting for something that you believed in. One of our biggest questions is why do we have this equipment here? Why do we have this high advanced electronic um, militarized equipment to surveil us, to watch us when all we are is protesters in the street practicing our First Amendment right and demanding you know, fair wages, legalization, and, and to police violence. They are looking for quote unquote insurgents. They think that our demands are unreasonable and this is the reason why the Watch the Watchers program is here. Because we want to expose this and we want to expose that who they're who they're addressing and social justice organizers. We continue to watch the watchers at protests and events in our community in order to document the police presence and the tactics they are using to spy, surveil, and infiltrate our movement. It's important that communities watch the watchers so they know that we will not allow them to violate our human rights. We ask you to join us in your own community. Please find out more information by going to www.stoplapdspying.org. I thought you said you weren't a cop. Oh, hello. Wait, you lied to us? It was a ruse, not a lie. What's a ruse? Ruse, you're trying to trick somebody, right? You can do that. But I thought when you're a public official, right, that you have certain standards where you're not supposed to lie to the public. Uh, look it up. We can, we can, we can, we can trick somebody. It's called the ruse, R-U-S-E.